I talk about this idea of relationships a lot. Relationships are very important to me, whether that be friend, whether that be client. In general, I feel like why that's so important is it's always the memories that we kind of share, the value in a relationship, the way you build trust. It's easy to say that, but reflecting on them is what really shows the value in relationships. And one of the best relationships we built over the years was with Postmodern. Postmodern was unique because before we ever worked with them, we hadn't ever done a project of its type. As creators, there's so many times that we have these ideas of like, this is what we want to be doing. How do we get this? Why can't I get these types of projects? And it becomes frustrating sometimes. And the biggest lesson that I took away was just being transparent about what I wanted. Even though I didn't know how to do what I wanted to do, that's what led me to getting the type of project. To rewind, we had done work for other bands in the past and I had formed a subtle relationship with the singer Maddie. Before he ever created Postmodern, I got to have that conversation. I'm like, I just wish that we could work with a band before they ever launched anything to really birth them. And that's the type of project that I wanted to be working on. A few months passed and he let me know like, hey, I'm working on new music. I loved everything that we talked about. How do we make that happen? The first project we did was for a haunting. It's one of my favorite projects, but I think my favorite part is the memories and the pressure, you know, of building it. I had never done it. It was, it was new for me. There was a part of me that's like, can we actually make the impression that I think we can make? That video still stands out. It's still something I'm proud of and it's something we did a long time ago. It was so satisfying when we finally got on set. We see the first take and we see our lighting working the way that it's working and seeing my camera operator get goosebumps. He was so stoked about the first take. That energy like went throughout the whole day. We made one of my favorite projects and it just continued to lead on to the next thing and the next thing. So when we got to Fury, it was just like, how do we elevate this and make this even more artistic? One of the crazier parts about that project was we were just there for so long. We still built a successful campaign, and I think the thing that allowed that to happen was how much trust Postmodern had in us from the previous project really built a lot of passion in my team. We made something really special, we made something really beautiful, I think that's all because we kind of had the proving grounds of the first project. Every project, I think there's some new learning thing and like there's, there's beauty in this project because the last project took me a long time to handle and post and this one actually cut super quick because I started using multicams. It really changed the way that we could deliver projects. We're delivering projects quicker. We're caring more about hitting deadlines. We're understanding how we can create more efficiency. And then, you know, the last project we did for them was for Speaksoft. Maddie just sent me over the tracks. He's like, hey man, you just want to hear some new music. We weren't even talking music videos. And instantly I was like, oh my God, I love these. Like, are you thinking video? And obviously he, he was, and we started talking ideas. And I had been looking for a song to do a 360 degree motion with. My friend had a garage that I was like, I already had in mind of like, this would work perfectly for a circular motion. I just want to do a music video for this. I love this song. I see this in my head and I firmly believe that if we didn't do work with Postmodern, we might not be where we are today. So for me, it's like, here's a chance for us to evolve, to create something that's just really unique. Even the lighting stuff that we did in there, that was all manually done by JR and Drew. They learned the songs and they knew when to hit the buttons to just kind of transition on that. So it was all done live, it was all done right there. It was bare bones, like very minimalistic budget and we made it look big. The other really telling thing was Maddie was so involved and we just got really involved in making a really cool project together and he ended up helping out on production and that stemmed to not just us being hired for projects, but me hiring him for projects and forming a freelance relationship. He's a passionate person. So I think it's important to look further than this is a client that they're hiring me for and I'm going to do something. But when you can form a true friendship with someone, how far can that really go? Today, we're, we're working on commercial campaigns together. We're working on totally different projects than what we were four years ago. It's just because we both value the friendship. We both value the relationship. You know, Postmodern has been such an important part of JCP that I want to make this our demo real track. Every piece of the story that we're trying to tell should have some sort of significance. And we've been built on artists. Artists support us. Artists trust us. They invest in us. So I want to reinvest my energy, my time, my efforts into our clients. It's really about long-term relationships. How can we start to look at this more than a transaction? We'll be significantly more happy when we can look back on not just the projects that we've created, but the memories and the relationships we have. I hope you guys like this. I'd love to hear of any projects, any stories that you have, any other things that you want to hear from me. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Do all that sort of stuff. See ya. Oh, oh.